amazing plants. Try to some. <laughs> Hello, it is me, Pat. We here at the Lotus Farm here in Iwakuni, Japan. And this is very beautiful fields. And it's not just on this side. We have a lot of sides. Very huge fields. Uh, that is surrounded by other fields and is surrounded by the city and the coast over there. By that area. It's a very amazing location and it's geographical strategical location and if you don't know how big the flowers are or these leaves it's like this big this is my hand and this how big oh peace yes so big it's almost like you can put your head in it and wrap your head in those leaves and these are the dried up ones I think this farmer here you know just some sewage I mean plumbing going so I can wrap my brother or sister's head in this we're gonna do some photo album album cover super big look at that super amazing I'm gonna wrap my head in this but try not to mess it it's very amazing this flower holy look at that super beautiful this is a nice picture I'm gonna take a picture right now I just took like 10 pictures and see the trepophobia trepophobia Yo, look how big these leaves are, man. Super big. So yeah, my hair is messed up right now, but it's all good because I don't really do this as much. It's very hot outside, so yeah. Otra. So we just did a little, you know, photography over there. I'll show them to you later but now I'm back to commentating again so here if you don't know already are the plants you see on those trypophobia crap videos and this is a lotus pod right here Opa! if you have trypophobia exit this video but this is the lotus pod and those are the seeds inside you can even touch it I think Yep, you can touch. Boom, 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 boom. Very, very, very nice. This is the trypophobia y'all see on YouTube. And it comes from the lotus plant. And they even have lotus flowers over there. And these giant leaves. So, so these fields are like super big and stretch a long way. And there are even more fields over there, and uh, that's the seaside. And here is getting inland and to the mountains over there. So this is the inland, and that's going to, you know, the sea, the ocean. And this is my brother. Ah! I. I guess I gotta get out now. And God, my son. Baby sister! Okay, she's just chilling there, but if you look at one of these flowers, it also has that that pod and that trypophobia thing. Trypophobia, I don't know how to pronounce it. Very nice. So, if you're wondering if you can actually get in these fields, and the answer is you can't. It's because it's actually water, you see. So, this is not the ground, this is water. So, if you try to step in, you'll just fall in. So, that's why we're limited to the cement here. 
or concrete, whatever you call it. See, so these are very tall plants and a lot of, you know, natural greenery plantation crap going on. And that's the water. You know, you got the leaves over here. Are you ready? Shit. Sends the water right there. And it even stretches all the way to the actual ground. Oh, Just them. So yeah, you can't step in. You, you need very, very long boots in order for you to actually get in. Mama, Mama, we have a picture of this one. So this is one of my pictures with the lotus pods to see how intimidating it may be. It's actually pretty safe and very amazing and mesmerizing. And this is one of the uh, unbloomed flowers. And this is when it blooms. It's very beautiful. Some are white, some are pink, but this one is white. And this one is me showcasing how big leaves actually are and how it can actually wrap around your head. And this is one of the pictures I took on the focus of the flower to showcase the beautifulness and prettiness. Pero malayo siya. Okay na, okay na. So, we are leaving. And if you take a drive around this area, you will really see how big the fields are. And how much space they actually take. Like, they take like a lot of space. You see some greenhouses over here. I think that's what it's called. And then that's to the city. And you know. And that's the base, you can already see the towers over there. One of them where Algin's birthday took place. Yeah, that was dope time. So yeah, the fields are super big and humongous. That's why you never underestimate the size of the lotus farms because they take a lot of space. And here we have some more checophobia going on for you. See, even touching it to show you that it's safe to touch, probably. Just can get over the fact that these flowers actually have the pods in them. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Whoppa! Very nice. I'll just show you in the photo. And some more pods. No. You actually, you actually call them lotus pods and if you have trypophobia you might as well look away but these are these lotus pods are like super amazing and super cool to look at actually mesmerizing I don't know why people are scared of them so much or maybe just creeped out it's because those photoshop going on like with the hand and the lotus pod yeah that's yeah but yeah more of proof that you can't actually go into the fields because you'll just get yourself wet and you'll have a nice swimming see a lot of vegetation going on even under you know even over the water so here we are we're almost you know into some industrial construction going on and some other small like garden over there and yeah, big truck. Here we have the traffic enforcer. Very amazing. Ah, so this is where a lot of the produce goes, and a lot of the packaging and stuff. So just like a almost like fresh market stuff. You know, like the ones you see in the Philippines, but instead it's more remote. Ah, banato. So my mom, my mom. So this parking area literally scared the crap out of my mom because she thought our car was towed. It's because that and that literally looks the same. She thought I was towed, but. That's not the place where we park. It's there. So fortunately, we still have our beautiful 2003 Nissan Cube high tech. So a very kind employee is giving us a gift over there. So very amazing, very nice. 
So he approached us with this very amazing thing and he's just present, so it's very amazing. We're communicating right now and he has a gift right there. He just came up with it. He just came to us with it, so it's very amazing. Super nice. So he's explaining to us right now how the products go here from this from here in these areas and then the big stores like max value and out of it goes there so it all starts here and then it goes all the way to the you know stores you usually buy here in japan thank you yeah thank you So this is a iconic and famous restaurant here in Yukuni. It's called Veggie Trip. It's called Veggie Trip is because they make food out of vegetables, hamburgers out of vegetables and you know a lot of food from vegetables. So it's it's super good here but uh, it's closed on Wednesdays. And today's Wednesday, so we can't really go. So that plan was ruined, you know. It's still, you know, cool nevertheless. And you know, very amazing. However though, the food here is expensive as crap. A juice will cost you 800 yen. And it is pretty pricey for just juice. But you know, the stuff here is organic and fresh. So yeah, you gotta pay the price for the quality. So what you're seeing behind me right now is a car right there but what's significant about the driver is we, I think it's he's also a foreigner because the Japanese people know that Joy uh, Veggie Trip is closed on Wednesdays but this one maybe an American as well that doesn't know the, the dates for the Veggie Trip so I guess this one might be troubled as well, but I don't know. Maybe he's going to check it for something, but... Oh, he just realized it's closed. He's leaving now. So, good for him. Or her, I don't know. Or maybe just changing parking spots. Oh, she changed parking spots. So here she is. She just changed the parking spot. Not a baby. Not a baby. baby. Mm. She also has a baby. I think she's trying to go there as well, but it's closed. So, yep. It's foreign. It's American. We're not really familiar with the dates here, so that's why, you know, people living on base are sometimes confused with the dates here. And, like I told you, these lotus seals are super big, super wide, take up a lot of space, and it's dope. Oh, some hills over there as well. Mm, so, if you are planning to visit here in Iwakuni, or already living here but don't know where to go, of course you know where to go, but if you don't know where to go, you visiting these lotus fields is a must it's super amazing you know it's super mesmerizing especially when you get close up to the fields and actually you know observe and learn about the plants beautiful amazing plants try and some but the beach oil holy crap my friend Oh, that was so fast. My mom just stopped and then she just continued and then that which is proper way but a train suddenly started beeping so that was thought that was pretty scary. Good thing I caught that on video. But <laughs> lang bumisa past the curious. I stop it. Oh tamang mga nawa pero kakatakot talaga yung ganun na puno. Ay yung tarita. Right. Very 
good thing to know about that because if you don't stop you might be screwed so you got you gotta know how to stop because the city has lots of railways and knowing how to stop is knowing how to live longer so that's good for you so guys it's been more than five hours since we came back from the lotus seals and this paper one of the things that ge the gentleman gave us that was part of the present is actually a very um packet of the brief his of you know a brief history packet of the lotuses here in niwakuni so a so they actually call it hasu here and originating from a Jap from the from the Japanese word for beehive because it does look like a beehive. So Hachisu. Hachisu in beehive and then Hachisu became Hasu and because it does look like a beehive. And it shows us the growing processes from April and then this is May. And then you know June and July, you know, June July to August, and then September to March, and when it's done, you know they dry up the water, and then they you know do with special tools and get the roots and the stuff we eat right here. It's the roots, or is actually stock, but it's we generally call it lotus root. But it's actually a stock. And it's like that. So you know it's very amazing. So this is what it looks like when you buy it from a grocery store. So the lotus root or lotus stock. And it has a lot of nutritional facts. Your vitamin C, dietary fiber, iron, potassium, calcium. You know, has a lot of health factors as well. Prevents colds, constipation, cancer, amongst other diseases. Keep your skin young and healthy. Lower high blood pressure. And that's another reason probably why a lot of Japanese people look young. It's because they eat these roots. And, you know, it's what keeps them, you know, young and healthy. And this is Hasu Chan. Promoting ambassador mascot for Iwakuni Ren Renkon Lotus Root. She is an innocent fairy promoting Iwakuni lotus roots. She was born in 2001 from a lotus flower in the lotus field. So that is her, Hasu Chan. She is the mascot for the Iwakuni you know, lotuses. You know, Iwakuni lotus root, Renkon, and more local dishes from Iwakuni that include lotus roots. This is a very amazing packet that was the present the gentleman gave us. So it's very nice. I I really love this one. It's I think it's really sweet and it's really amazing how they gave us you know this present. I think mainly because of you know free advertising. You know when you're taking pictures of the lotus fields, you're actually and posting it on social media, you're actually advertising the place and, you know, it gives them, you know, more fame and, you know, and people it's gonna, people are going to want to visit that place. So, you know, free advertising. So I think, you know, the present is some, you know, a bit of a thank you gift, as to say. So... Um, I'm gonna see how we can keep it lasting long, and you know, it's, I really love it, man. It's super amazing. So yeah, I really think it's sweet and really cute that they gave us, you know, this, you know, present for you know just visiting the place and taking pictures. You know, very Japanese, very polite, very nice, and. It's really amazing. I am in love with the present. You know, the memos are amazing. And this packet with some very good amount of, you know, information and some other stuff in the present that the gentleman gave us. So I think it's because, you know, when you go to places, you know, and you take pictures 
and posted it on social media is actually free advertising because you know when people see your post you know it's gonna make them want to visit the place and you know you're freely advertising the place so i think you know this present is you know it's part of a present so i really think it's you know amazing how they gave us a present like that it was unexpected we just came back to the car and the gentleman gave us the present like that i was like whoa that is dope and i'm not even joking it's actually amazing so yeah the, the present was really cute really welcoming and very very creative i'm in love in here in japan bro i don't ever want to leave this place but unfortunately you have to because that's the military life you keep on moving and moving and moving and moving but the thing is you learn new stuff from new countries and new places you visit so it has some pros and cons you will just have to keep losing friends which is uh ugh. man i cannot tell you enough how much i'm in love with the present and the packet and the memos yes i'm getting super repetitive again but that's my condition so yeah oh my goodness i'm in love with it it's super dope super amazing i cannot say enough